Baptist or the Methodist or the Pentecostal or the Catholic, but he's calling his church. He's the only hope that we have. The only hope that you have. If you think you're going to already win the $350 million, I'm sorry it was won last night. You know, a lot of answers were Christians. I build a church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I hope we have time to build a church. I hope we have time, Sister Mary, to see a church. But we can't be promised. We're not promised that time. We're not promised that time. I'm thankful for this little place because I know there have been miracles in this little place. I'm thankful for small things. I'm not looking at the world for anything because I know the world is going to be defeated. And it's going to be on fire. And it's going to melt in a fermented heat just like the Word of God tells us that it's going to be. Don't put your hope in the things of this world. Don't, don't go out and be a vigilante and start shooting people. But some folks do that, and that's the wrong way to handle things. But go out in this world with love. And peace and joy and spreading the word that Jesus still saves, Jesus still heals. Lord God in heaven, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done and what he's going to do. Look up, church, I say this a lot too, for your redemption draweth nigh. Would you bow your hands? Precious, precious Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for hope this morning. We thank you, Lord, in a lost and dying world that will soon fade away like a vapor. That, Lord, will we, be, we will be able to step into that next world. That world, Lord, of peace and hope and joy. Lord, where that's where you'll be, where you'll be the ruler of the world. And Father, that's where we'll be, your people. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for everything you've done in our lives, everything you've done in this church, the souls that's been saved and those that's been healed and set free and delivered. There's one here this morning that if you passed away, if you went out of this world today, you're not real sure where you would go. You've put a lot of hope into this world. But I'm here to tell you this morning, you need to get it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. Is there one that would say, Brother Bobby, I need your prayers. I'm lost, and I don't know Jesus as my personal Savior. Please pray for me. Would you just slip up your hand? I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm not going to make you come up front. But just slip up your hand and say, I need your prayers. I need your prayers. I desire your prayers. Don't let the devil cheat you out of it. I need your prayers. Bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Is there one that would say, I need a closer walk? I'm saved and I know the Lord Jesus. But I just need to get a little closer to him, Brother Bobby. Would you slip up your hand? I need your prayers. Hands going up all over the room. Hands going up all over the room. I want you to do me a favor this morning. I want you to get up out of your seat. I don't want you to come to the altar, but I want you to come forward for prayer. We're going to anoint you with oil this morning. God will give you a closer walk.